Well, passing a kidney stone can be more painful than childbirth. So I've heard, actually you wrote that. I don't want calls from mom saying, what do you know about childbirth, Mike? But I haven't done either. Women who have say the, the kidney stone was actually worse. That's terrible. About 11% of the population goes through it, but you can take steps to make sure that it will not be you. That's right. Let's talk kidney stone 101 from CHI Health urologist, Dr. Stephen Leslie. Good to see you, doctor. And I'm all ears for this segment because prevention is key here, right? We can, we can, there's some things that we can do. And you founded the first Center for Kidney Stone Treatment and Prevention right here in Omaha. Why is this specialized care so important? It's important because preventing stones can be very complicated. Uh, for urologists who are basically surgeons, it's a lot of boring chemistry. But I'm proud of the fact that my colleagues and I are now the experts in kidney stone prevention, where in the past it was mostly the medical docs. The important thing is to know that it's available, get tested, and then the right treatment can be given. Let's start with a little background information. How common is this and how painful is it? Unfortunately, it's very common and extremely painful. It's probably the most painful event it's possible to live through. For people who've never had a kidney stone, I tell them, imagine the worst pain you've ever had, double it and add 10, and that gives you an idea how oh. bad it can be. You're, oh, man. You're familiar yep. with writhing in agony? Yes. I have literally seen big, burly truck drivers oh. writhing in agony in a fetal position on the floor, rolling from side to side, trying to get rid of the pain. Well, it's really, really bad. I have bad. a buddy who says he went through this. He was, I don't know, 35, mm -hmm. upper 30s. He said he was in the back. He had to get in the back seat of a car when his wife was driving. He was, you know, doubled over in pain, screaming. He oh. said it hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. And, you know, mid 30s, it can affect anybody, really, isn't it? Can it? Right. Thank God he didn't try and drive himself. Yeah, sure. <laughs> right. Oh the God. pain is that bad. Yeah. They shouldn't. They should call for help or have someone drive them to the hospital. Well, they took well, them to the ER, them, yeah. Yeah, we can give them treatment and then we can deal with the, both the pain and deal with the stone. Fortunately, most stones are small and most will pass. What I'm here mainly today to try and emphasize is the fact that we have an excellent program for prevention, but it takes a lot of time and effort. What are we looking at here? Are those stones? Those are stones. And, and they're not round. I see some jagged things. People think it's the sharp edges of the stone that hurts, but it's actually the size of the stone. Nice. It plugs the passage. The system dilates. And just like childbirth, where the cervix has to dilate to let junior out, uh, the urinary system does not like to be stretched or open, and that's what causes the severe pain. Mm. And in this particular picture, we were using a, a basket to grab the stone and pull it out. So that's a surgical picture. But ideally, you want people to not yes. have to seek these types of treatment. And then what's going on in this picture here? In this picture, we're using a different kind of a scope, a flexible scope. Uh, again, a basket is being passed up, it's grabbed the stone, and it's about to be pulled out. This is a view you never see in real life, it's obviously an mm -hmm. artistic uh, license, uh, but it does demonstrate how uh, some of the technology we have to get rid of the stones. Well, there's just some of the treatment options. What are the other treatment options out there available? Uh, the other one is something called the, uh, what's called S-Wall or Extracorporeal Shockwave Lithotripsy. I get paid extra because I can pronounce those good <laughs> words. I know, I'm glad you said it. Uh, uh, sometimes called just lithotripsy or the kidney stone machine. And this is a big machine. Mm -hmm. Patient is given an anesthetic. The machine comes up to the side of the patient and it focuses uh, pressure waves on the stone. And literally it's like the stone being hit by 10 hammers at once. And it just shatters it and breaks it up into little pieces. And this is wonderful because no instruments have to go actually inside mm -hmm. the patient. But it's not suitable for every patient or every stone. So it's nice to have various options. The telescope and laser is one, and this stone machine is the other. Let's jump back to that idea of prevention. Who should be taking preventative measures, and what can they do? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, originally, we limited it to people who had multiple stones or had particular risk. Uh, but little by little, that's been changing. Now we offer it, at least, to any patient who's had at least one stone who is strongly motivated to do everything they possibly can to avoid getting another one. For people who've had five, six, seven stones, that's not much of an issue. Their motivation is pretty <laughs> clear. But for someone with just one, if they're 50 and they just had their first stone, it might be another five, 10, maybe 50 years before they have the other. So the, the, the key issue is the motivation of the patient. Then the, pro the process is to get a 24-hour urine collection, look into the chemistry, and then have someone qualified review it and set up a plan for preventive treatment. If you've never had a stone, uh, you don't want to get one. What should you do? Are there things? Is it diet? Uh, exercise? What can you do to make sure you don't get these kidney well, stones? Exercise doesn't really make much difference. Uh, genetics, you're, you have what you're born with. Mm -hmm. uh, diet is one of the things you can modify. For most patients who have never had a stone, uh, the treatment is very simple. Drink a couple extra glasses of water and moderation in your diet. Stay hydrated, huh? What's healthy in general, what's healthy for your heart and for general health is usually pretty healthy for stones.
if this topic is speaking to anyone today, you brought this in, and this is a DVD that's free? The DVD is free. It was done about a year ago. It's a 90-minute video mm -hmm. on all of the information someone with stones would normally want to know about. And it talks about both treatment and prevention. And how can somebody get their hands on this? You just need to give our office a call. Uh, we'll be happy to send them a free copy of the DVD and a, a, sh a small booklet about our prevention program and if they're interested. And you see the information there on the screen right now. Those are the numbers to give a call to 717-2501 yeah. or 717-4870. You also have these pamphlets put together uh, that, people, that are available for patients as well. Right, and they're all free. Yeah. We have to talk about this briefly because we mentioned it off the top of the show. Most expensive kidney stone ever. <laughs> You're, you're going to kill me because the, uh, I use this as one of my trivia questions for the med students because they yeah. don't know it. So it's going to be out now in the airwaves. Uh, <laughs> William Shatner passed a kidney stone. Uh, it was taken out in surgery and uh, he auctioned it off. It was purchased by a Reno, Nevada, Nevada casino for $75,000, which he donated to charity, uh, Habitat for Humanity, and they actually built a home for a homeless family. Out of that. No out of kidding. One kidney so every once in a while, kidney stones can be okay. <laughs> and what was his stone like? Was it a big one? I mean, did you ever per did you see it? I took, a, I took a look at it, actually. <laughs> and it's perfectly average. Yeah, so I wouldn't yeah. have paid anything for right, it. Because I see them all the time. Stone, yeah, well, it's good one. that that one went to a good cause. However, for the rest of us out there, don't get them, prevent them. You see the information there on your screen for the CHI Health Creighton University Medical Center, a special foundation focused just on the, this issue here. Call the numbers on the screen or go to the website for more information. Thank you so much Good for being here, Doctor. Good information, Doctor. Yeah. You're welcome. We, don't, we want to stay in the column of people who've never had them. Prevention is key. That's All right. right. Continue.